What's up Shredheads? Welcome to another episode of the Pokemon Card Classic with the jacked, stacked, serial thriller of Pokemon Card Collector, Shreddy. In today's episode of the Pokemon Card Classic, I'm going to be showing you the cards that I'm sending off for my very first ever PSA submission. I've never submitted any cards to PSA and I've been collecting since I was a kid. I got back into it 2008. Why have I never submitted any cards before? During 2008 to 2013, PSA grading wasn't a popular thing in Pokemon. Sending cards off from the UK over to America was such an obscure kind of unheard thing to do. Only really from my experience had American collectors actually sending cards off to be graded. Fast forward to 2020 and PSA grading is absolutely huge on Instagram, on YouTube and on Facebook. So I thought it was time to get some of my cards graded. What cards am I getting graded? We'll keep watching to find out every single card that I'm going to be sending off for my very first ever PSA submission. Who am I using to get these cards graded? Graded Gem, and I'll be putting the details for them down in the description below. Let me know down in the comments below what PSA card you have in your collection that is your favorite. But now guys, let's get ready, shreddy, and go to see what my submission is gonna look like. Are you ready for shreddy? So we're looking at what cards I'm sending off for PSA today. But to start off with, I'm going to just quickly show the only PSA card that I currently own, which is this Rocket Mewtwo from the Gym Challenge set, or Japanese two, uh, Gym 2 set in Japan. Uh, it's not the only PSA 10 card that I own, it's the only PSA card that I own full stop. Um, got this, I want to, can't remember when I got it, I want to probably guess 2012, maybe 13, um, I can't quite remember. But that's the only PSA card that I've got, so what we're going to look at today is all of the other cards that I'm going to be sending off for grading, so the first time I've ever submitted anything myself, and it'll be interesting to see how they get graded on the way back, and this actual slab is a little bit banged up. But the card itself, you can see the shine there. The holo cards always look a little bit better than the Japanese. Look at that there. Absolutely class. So what cards are we going to be sending off in submission for PSA grading? Well, first up, we have this here, which is a first edition German Blastoise. And I've had this for years. I honestly can't remember how I even got this card. So that's the back of this card. In the front, so I don't collect German cards, so this will be one that I get graded, um, just to sell on, pretty much. So next up, we've got this E3. Red Cheeks Pikachu promo card. Now this is actually still sealed. You can see, I've got the sealing on there. I've got it in the top loader as well. Um, any scuffs you can see there, it's from the top loader itself. So I'm in two minds as to whether or not to send this off because the card is sealed. So it mean breaking that seal open, but getting it graded um, would be pretty cool. The card's obviously in condition, so it's going to just come down purely to, you know, the centering, the printing, and if we have a look here, um, you know, the borders look pretty good. So I'm still in two minds about whether or not to send this off, but you might see this in the return video. It might come back. So next up, we have this here, which is one of my absolute favorites artworks, and this is a dark Raichu from the Legendary Collection set. So you can see condition of the cards. And if we look at the back, right there, no whitening around the edges or anything like that. So we're gonna be sending this beauty off. So next up, we have this Gengar, again, from the legendary collection set. So 
So this is one that I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to do. And it is Charizard from the Legendary Collection, which looks in mint mint condition. Um, no marks, nothing on it from the front. You know, no corner issues, no whitening on the back or anything like that. We've got a couple of loose reverse hollows from the legendary set as well. So these are doubles because I've got a complete set and that's in my binder. I mean, look at the artwork on that there. Condition of these though is, you know, absolutely spot on. Um, be interesting to see how these do. I've got a couple of reverse hollows to send off. Next one here, Sandshrew. When you get the lighting just right on these, they look absolutely class. Look at that, fireworks. Looks like Y2K there. And again, the backs all minty, minty fresh. This is a cool one. We've got the Charmander. Firework print. It's a shame that they've never printed any more cards with this effect on for the reverse hollows. They look way better than the reverse hollows I was pulling in that Sword and Shield tin. Um, a couple of videos back. But there's another one that's going off for grading. We've got Jungle Pikachu here. And again, the effects on these look proper sick. So cool. And the cards themselves are in a really, really, really good condition. Never sent anything off for grading myself, so it'll be interesting to see exactly how these do and then last up we got a flareon which is not quite as good condition as the ones i've just shown but still pretty decent and it's just the effect on these cards is class mm, maybe we won't send that one off because the back is a bit scuffed but the other one's looking to send off so next up we have a binder set which is my first edition base set which I've done a video on my first edition base set and I don't really want to get them all out to be shown right now but I'm going to be sending off the entire holo set so I'll show page one and page two and it'll be interesting to see what these get I mean these cards aren't you know gem mint by any stretch at all I think some of them will come back anywhere between like the five and sevens for these, but really want to get them done just because I've had them for so long. So it'd be you know a really cool piece to get featured, uh, to get graded, and be able to get them in slabs. So a quick binder change now, and we're looking at the legendary collections that I've got, and I have a couple of these, so I've got three full. Legendary collection set. So this one is You know, it's not in kind of minty minty fresh condition But it's pretty decent So I'm thinking we'll get in the cards each of these graded the hollows from this set You can see the backs of them here as well So that's page one of the hollows. We have page two here. And then the backs are all pretty mint. So we've got the reverse hollows here.
in the backs of these cards as well. But we've got, you know, a full set there of reverse hollows to send off. And not just the shinies, not just the hollow cards, but literally the entire set is reverse hollow. So I want to get all those sent off. And then we have more of the regular hollow cards here. Again, hollow Charizard there. So I think I want to get the two, um, two hollow sets, all the hollows from reverse uh, from the legendary collection, and the entire um, reverse hollow set sent off in this submission. And then to finish off with, we've got a bunch, and I mean a whole bunch of Japanese gym hollows to send off. So I'll quickly go through some of these here. Um, I mean, they're all in sleeves, so um, just for time, we won't be taking them out. But there's multiple of a lot, um, you know, there's duplicates of some of these cards, which I'd like to get them all graded because these are all really, really, you know, mint, uh, near mint condition. So it'd be great to see how these could do in terms of gradings. And I've got so many of these. These just lose cards, not in the binder. But any fans of the channel know that in general, I prefer the Japanese hollows over English. And you can see why by looking at these here. So this Needle King looks like it's got a mark on there, which is probably the only one in the pile, which would probably suggest I won't send that one off. Let's have a look to see if it's the card or if it's the sleeve. So, yeah, it was the sleeve because I've removed it there and we have got no mark at all. So I can go into new sleeve right here and that will get sent off. So then the remaining ones here, Sabrina's Alakazam, and that's a really thick, which has taken away the shine of the cards, which you can probably see a little bit better, there we go, look at that. So that's going. Rocket Zapdos, Koga's Ditto. Now there's not even much hollow to actually grade on that card, so the Ditto, the big petal blob takes it all up. Misty's Golduck. So this is actually going in first edition English, this has been going for five grand. Um and it's actually had a bit of a price drop, a bit of a retrace lately. So again you can see there's a big mark on the sleeve. So what we do, take that out and we'll replace it with a fresh sleeve and uh, looking at that there the bordering is way off a lot thinner on that side than it is that side so I'm probably going to make a call and we'll say we won't send that one off two off centering now I've never actually had them graded so I don't know you know the ins and outs of grading um, so some of these could come back really good, some could come back really crap. I don't know until they're sent off and done. But they're getting sent off with Graded Gem, which if you watch this channel, you must know who their channel is, but I'll put a link in the description anyway. So one of my favorite cards of all time, this one here, Blaine's Arcanine. And lucky for me, we've got three to send off. So all in all, a pretty good submission. So excited to see what the grades will come back like 
So guys, there we have it. I'm using Grid Gem. I'll be putting the link for those guys down in the description below. If you have any predictions for the cards you've seen in this video as to what grade you think they're going to get, drop it down in the comments below. Remember to let me know what your favorite PSA card is in your own personal collection. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell as well, to be notified of all of the videos that I'm going to be uploading on the channel. But until next time, guys, remember, collecting ain't no gimmick, it's a lifestyle.